now i am going to work with the aggregate functions how to work with the aggregate functions in laravel i am going to show you in my example if i go to the students you see that there are name role and age only now i am going to create another table for example i am going to the terminal and here i am going to create a migration file first php artisan make migration then create for example persons persons table now a uh, new migration file has been created here so here i am going to give sub entry for example table is string and here i am going to give here the person name so name then i am going to give here is then i am going to give here for example salary then i am going to give country uh, so name is salary and country okay and here i can give here okay that is uh, that is okay i do not need to enter any other things now so now what i am going to do i am going to run the command php artisan migrate so if i run this command what will be happen after running this command i am going to check my table so here you see that the persons come here now i am going to enter manually some information here for example patrick uh, age is 30 salary 10000 and country ireland then i am going to give another person smith a is equal to 25 salary equal to 15000 country is usa now i am going to insert another person david age is 30 salary is 13000 country usa insert another one brent age is 32 salary is 10000 country is australia now i am going to enter another one robin age is 35 salary is 12000 country ireland so quickly i just add some name is salary and country of a person so now what i am going to do that is i am going to show you some aggregate functions i am now going uh, to create a controller because in the student controller already i did many things so i am not going to touch it i am going to create another controller so here php artisan make controller then person controller okay so after creating the person controller i am going to open that controller so this is person controller so public function index for example now i am going to work with it and here i i will have to call here the controller that is person so like this and here this index function i am going to copy and paste it here this is person and here it will be person controller this is the index so person index so this will run now i want to show you the first aggregate function that is uh, count in this table if i want to uh, calculate how many items are in this table that means how many persons are here so in order to do that i will have to use db then table as i am going to use the query builder so i am going to give here db table persons persons table name is our table name is persons and here i am going to use the db db facet i am going to use here 
so here db table persons and here i am going to use the function that is count so here if i want to get the result echo then what you will actually see here if i go to run here the person index person index you will see that total five is showing that means in this table there are five persons here you see that total five persons so this is a function in order to get how many items are here this is an aggregate function that is count now there are some other aggregate functions for example if i want to show that in this table what is the total uh, salary for example this person get this salary this person this salary so i want to get the uh, summation of the total salary so in order to uh, do that i will have to call table and here persons is the table and here i will have to use the function sum and here in the parameter i will have to tell what is the field name that is salary i want to get the summation of the salary column that means all the salaries so here if i get the echo i am going to make the previous one off now if i refresh it you will see that total 60000 if you add this uh, 10000 10000 10000 10000 that means 50000 and this 50, uh, 5000 3000 2000 that means another 10 total 60000 are here so it is working perfectly so this is another aggregate function now if i want to get the average average salary okay so how we can do that table then persons and i can use another function that is a b z and here also i will have to give the parameter that is salary so here if i use the echo then if i go here and refresh then you will see that the average salary is twelve thousand so 12,000 is the average salary if I go here you will see in the table that uh, the average salary uh, 5 person and the total of 60,000 so if you divide you will see that the average is 12,000 that is showing here so it is working now I am going to use another aggregate function that is maximum so I am going to call db table then persons and here i can use a function that is max if i want to get the age of the person's maximum age we can get from here if you go in the table you see that the maximum person age is 35 right if i now refresh you will see that the 35 is showing that means the average uh, the maximum age of the person is uh, 35 so the max function is working here similar way i am going to use another one is minimum uh, that is mean mean is so here if i refresh that means minimum is will be shown now if i refresh you will see that that 25 is showing that means among all the persons the minimum is is 25 so the mean function is working so in this way you can work with the aggregate functions of laravel